guys, so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of a scrap piece. This car doesn't have a particularly deep recess, so what I want to show you is not going to be as prominent as if you had a car that had a much more aggressive recess. But what you showed me the other day is that we heat the top two inches of the film to take out that pre stretch, like this, and then you let it cool down. And yeah, so we let it cool down and then we start to work it in to the recess. Now there are two reasons why I wouldn't do this, or oh, I'd do it slightly differently to make it a little bit easier. Is one, if you notice the direction of all of these fingers now, that's showing me that there's kind of there is a little bit of weight on the film. If you had a lot of film here, you'd have a bit of weight on it. And even when you when you're shrinking this top two inches and you have this weight here, it is holding the film back from completely going back to zero. And also, if you had a sharp recess, you're not going to notice it here. But if you had a sharp recess, you work it in. Eventually, you're going to meet some more aggressive fingers down the bottom here. Uh, you're not going to see on this car but if you meet these aggressive fingers and again you're going to have to come back with heat heat the fingers out and that is going to create a really nice fat glue line because you've applied heat while it's on a flat piece of the panel and it's going to heat up the glue and then as you go and squeegee over it you're going to get a glue line now if you do it, try, just try it slightly differently all we're going to do is heat this film up from the bottom, if it's down here, put it from the bottom, and you're going to bring it all the way up. Can you just hold that screen? Yep. Yeah. Right. So you have two people go from left to right, heat up from the bottom, all the way across, all the way across. It also takes out any little pin pricks or something that the film might have in it as well, so you get a nice, keep that nice glossy finish. Then I'll heat it all the way and bring it all the way to the top. Now you can actually feel the feel the film pulling up in your hand as well. Then, and if you take a good look at what's happening now, look at the direction of the fingers. And if you if we drop the weight of this, it is literally going into the recess already. It's the direction of the film is put in left to right instead of still wanting to pull downwards because of only heating the top two inches. So once we feed this into a deep recess like this, look, every time we go across the recess, the film is still going left to right, left to right. So when you have a deeper one, you're not going to end up with these tiny little fingers that you have to heat out and potentially create another glue line. Yeah. And it means we can keep going down the film all the way while it's cool, less chance of glue lines. But look at this now. See how that the film is folding left to right? Okay, I hope you can see that. That means you can just keep squeezing all the way down the panel, like gently. And because the film is also cool now, you're not applying heat, you're not creating glue lines. Now I will try the theory that I was going to show you with the soap. And this prevents the glue lines even further. In fact, there shouldn't be any if it works. Um, but yeah, me using a combination of the soap if it works, and then heating the film from the bottom upwards. So you're like a you're doing a zipper up on a jacket, and the, you can feel the film pulling up into the recess and wanting to go left or right. Imagine this being like a door handle, and you pre-stretch it or something, and it's wanting to fold down the sides. You're, by heating it at the bottom, you're pulling the bottom of the film up into the recess. So that's the that's what I just wanted to show you, just an ever so slightly different way of doing it. Yep.